Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to edition number 10 of FBIT Hour. Today, it's a father and son duo, Kevin Seafried and Hunter Seafried, father and son together. There, there are many good ways to have father and son bonding time, and I think it is important for fathers to spend time with their children and you know, show them the ways of manhood and all the rest of it. Unfortunately, the particular way this father showed uh, his son how to live in the world left a little bit to be desired. So we're going to read the the tales of the father and the son. There's two very similar uh, factual patterns. So we'll read we'll read them both. We'll skim through the second one for the slight differences because obviously they're very very similar because they were together bonded the whole time. So. But we'll read both of them for all it's worth. Let's learn about the father-son duo that is Kevin Seafried and Hunter Seafried. How was this father-son bonding time accomplished? Let's find out. So let us start with the tale of the father. Very exciting. All right, and we pick up the story with the duo. According to video footage from the U.S. Capitol, the defendants... Kevin Seafried and Hunter Seafried entered the Senate building through a broken window at approximately 2.13 p.m. on January the 6th of 2021. Shortly thereafter, defendant Kevin Seafried was photographed holding a Confederate battle flag inside the Capitol building. We will get to this photo later. They put all the photos at the end. We got a very nice photo. This is the, uh, this is the guy. You've seen this photo before. This is the guy with the Confederate battle flag. You've seen this one. This This one made the news. So you know exactly what it looks like. Anyways, we'll get to it later. While in the building, both defendants were part of a larger group of individuals who verbally confronted several U.S. Capitol Police officers for approximately 15 minutes. Some words were exchanged. When when those words are, are threats and, uh, you know, stuff, though, those words are not so much on the protection of the speech. During this time, video footage from the U.S. Capitol Police shows Hunter Seafried using a phone to take a selfie, photograph or video, around 2.29 p.m. You gotta love it with the selfies and the videos. You, just, you gotta love it with the selfies and videos. Now, I'm not sure how much difference it makes for a lot of these people because there's so many people, video, and so many people taking selfies, and so much internal video footage from the Capitol building anyway, that they probably found it anyway. They probably found it anyway. But you know what makes it really, really easy for the prosecutor? really easy it's we found this video on their phone that they took that makes it super easy it's it's easy when here is the camera from the capitol building it's easy when it is here is a video from some other person where they were captured in the background that's easy you know what's even super easier here's the video they took themselves on their cell phone of them doing the things. You know, I've, I've never prosecuted a case in my life and I have no problem prosecuting this case. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I can do it without breaking a sweat. I'd like to once again remind the U.S. Attorney in D.C. I am available. Great. So... <laughs> Yeah, the defendants appear to depart the Capitol at around 2.36 from the Senate carriage door, which I don't know exactly what that is, but apparently it has a special name. At no time were they authorized to be inside the United's Capitol complex. You know, there you go. Defendants Kevin Seafried and Hunter Seafried were identified after the FBI received a report from a co-worker of Hunter Seafried relaying that Hunter Seafried had bragged about being in the Capitol with his father on January 6, 2021. How, how, how do we find these people? Well, son over here bragged to his co-worker. Co-worker called the FBI. Good. The, report, the reporting individual confirmed that Hunter Seafried was visible in a Metropolitan Police Department flyer depicting individuals who breached the Capitol building security. He has a mustache and is wearing a black hat and black jacket. Exhibit B. The FBI reviewed Kevin Seafried's driver's license photo and matched it to the image of the individual holding the Confederate battle flag. The FBI was also able to concern that Kevin Seafried is 
Hunter Seafried's father. Kevin and Hunter together, father and son, bonding. Maybe not so much with the, uh, you know, storm in the capital. There are, there are other father-son adventures that are possible. You know, maybe you could go play catch, or maybe you could fish. That's good. Or, you know, maybe hunting even. I mean, hunting's nice if you like that kind of thing. Uh, or you could do some archery or something. Um, or there might be some other hobbies that you like. Maybe you could help your son, you know, make that pine wood derby car for the Boy Scouts. Or, 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 learn, or help him with his car. Learn, learn, teach him how to change a tire and how to change the oil in his car. You know, good basic skills are nice to have. How to bleed the brakes on his car, maybe. That'd be good. Maybe less, maybe less with the riding, though. I mean, not, not the greatest father-son lesson adventure. I, I don't particularly remember reading this in the uh, How to Be a Parent books. Mm. Uh, yeah. On January the 12th of 2021, both Kevin Seafried and Hunter Seafried participated in voluntary and separate interviews with the FBI. Once again, once again, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you crazy kids, except not so much crazy kids, but the FBI who came and said, can we talk to you? And they said, yes. And they said, let me tell you some things that happened and stuff. I, I don't I don't quite I don't quite understand some of these people. I don't understand a lot of these people actually, because these people are rebelling. This is this is this is almost as confusing as the guy who um, said I am jihad, I am uh, Al Qaeda that we covered in that one case. Who then when when he was busted by the uh, FBI because they knew all about it, talked to the FBI. He's even more confusing because he's he says I I am Al Qaeda, I am. I am a, he says, he literally says, I am a terrorist. And he, then he says, I'd like to talk to the FBI. This confuses me. I, I wouldn't think that those two things would go together very well, but apparently they did in that case. And apparently it goes together in this case too. I am so mad. I'd like to go storm the Capitol. Also, I'd like to talk to the FBI. I, I don't, I, I, okay. I, yeah, fine. Uh, so, they, yeah, they, they're going to do that now. Um, both defendants confirmed their participation in the events. How helpful, as discussed therein. They they told the FBI all about it. That's that's good news. Kevin Seafried also explained that he had brought the Confederate battle flag seen in Exhibit A to the District of Columbia from his home in Delaware. So those of you who have who have your maps ready, those of you who have your maps ready, please now check off the state of Delaware. We have Delaware for your map checking needs. We will get all 50 states by the end of this, I'm quite sure. But today we have Delaware. Defendant Kevin Seafried told law enforcement he traveled with his family from Delaware to District of Columbia to hear President Trump speak, and that he and Hunter had participated in the march from the White House to the Capitol led by an individual with a bullhorn. See, that part was perfectly fine. You, you can go march to the Capitol with a bullhorn and you can go stand off the grounds outside the grounds and you know chant stuff less okay with the breaking into the building and <laughs> finally i've reviewed video footage posted to twitter yeah which shows hunter seafried punching out a glass in a window in the capitol complex after people adjacent to him in the crowd broke it with a wooden toothpick <laughs> Uh, so he was punching out the glass after people had broken it with a two by four. So he finished the job by hand, by, f by fist. <laughs> Kevin Seafried confirmed to law enforcement agents that Hunter Seafried was asked by an individual unknown to Seafreeze to assist with clearing the windows because Hunter Seafried was wearing gloves. Would you mind clearing the window because you were wearing gloves? Love to be of help. After Hun Hunter Seafried complied, people from the crowd outside, to include the Seafreeds, were able to access the interior of the Capitol building. Screenshots from the video are attached to Exhibit C. Uh, Kevin says, can you give a no-com interview to the FBI? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can give a no-com interview to the FBI. Yes. This is, this is a perfectly valid legal option. 
When the FBI comes and knocks and says, we'd like to talk to you, you can say, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. And they say, we really like to talk to you. I am choosing to remain silent. Go away. I, I will not speak to you without a lawyer. Go away. These are all perfectly valid options. No comment. I'm remaining silent. I want a lawyer. Not please come inside and let me make you some tea while I tell you, while we sit down and enjoy the tea and I can tell you all about my experiences. Not a great option. Yes. Not saying, saying to the FBI, go away. I don't want to talk to you is in fact a perfectly valid legal option. One more of these people should probably employ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, based on the foregoing, your affiant, that would be the FBI, submits the following. Uh, there's a 10 pound chat, a 10 pound super chat from Alan Smith. Thank you for the super chat, Alan Smith. Would I be the first to suggest this is a confederation for the village idiots or COVID for short? Well, I think you are the first person to suggest that, Alan. And that is very cheeky of you to use British parlance. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the super chat and thank you for your 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 support. It makes all the difference. Yeah. So based on the foregoing, we think that they uh, they 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 trespassed. We think that they uh, did a disorderly order, and we have a uh, we have a new one here. I think um, makes it a crime to act in physical violence against a person. So. Yeah, they make probable cause to believe they violate makes a crime to knowingly engage in any act of physical violence or property. So, yeah, we got we, for that. That would be the breaking of the glass, the physical violence against the property. So we trespassed. We did this orderly conduct and we got them for one more for breaking the glass to enter. That'd be physical violence against property. So there you go. Excellent. So we got that. So, yeah. And then we got uh, 5104 for making a crime to act in physical violence, which includes damage to the grounds of the Capitol building specifically. Right. So we have all we have general federal buildings and then we have one specifically for the Capitol building as well. How nice. And we have 31 1361 makes a crime to commit any act of depredation against any property. So we have another one for 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 harming the property. So we got like three charges for destruction of property. So we got trespass. We got disorderly conduct and we got three charges of destruction of property. Ye. And then, of course, we got the charge for making a crime to parade or demonstrate or picket inside a building. So we got trespass, disorderly conduct, three charges of breaking property, and the unlawful parading inside the Capitol building. And then we got some pictures to support it. And you've seen this picture before, I'm quite sure. This is made the news media. That would be this guy. That'd be the Seafreeds with this with the Confederate battle flag in there. Good. Could could be this guy. Could could be this guy. Yeah, that's good. We got exhibit B. This is the wanted poster that apparently they saw. We we want these people. Uh -huh. And then we have uh the sun using his hand to clear the glass that we found on Twitter. So we got the picture of the sun there using his hand to clear away the glass using his gloved hand. How thoughtful. That's nice. Then we got them entering the. Then we got them entering the window. What is the opposite of defenestrate? What is the opposite of defenestrate? Uh I don't know. We need a word for this. I think. Uh, I, I I need a vocab word. Help. <laughs> uh then we got another picture of them entering the Capitol building together from the YouTubes, which we found from Twitter. Super fun. So we, we got all that. We got a lot of that from their adventures together. Let us turn briefly to the story of Hunter Seafried, which is going to look very similar to the one we just covered. Yeah. Re Refistrate, infestrate. I don't know. In, 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 yeah, we, we need a word for the opposite of defenestrate. They did the opposite of whatever defenestrating is. They entered through the window. <laughs> look how large the window look the windows were asking to be broken look how large they are fence straight fence straight oh that might be right fence straight that might be right 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just fenestrate. Is fenestrate a word? Or fenestrate? Is that a word? Let's see. Defenestrate. Yeah. Any of thesaurus. Let's see what Merriam Webster has. Do they have anything for me? Antonyms. These all suck. Antonyms, accept, admit, receive, take in, welcome, entertain, harbor, lodge, shelter. All these synonyms, antonyms suck. There's no word that describes this. Lame. Oh well, let's let's carry on for the uh, let's carry on with the story of uh, Hunter over here, and we will discuss some small differences in the uh, pleading. Ingress, yeah, maybe ingress. Uh, so we got some uh, small differences here, but this is going to seem very similar. You know, so they entered the Capitol complex. Hunter takes a selfie, identified by the FBI from a coworker. That we have the story of Kevin also able to confirm it's his father. Participated in separate interviews that confirm the investigation. Kenter Seffrey, Kenter, Ken Seffrey explained he brought the cow, Capitol battle flag. He told law enforcement he moved, came from D.C. They participated in the march. Kevin C. Freed and based on the foregoing and all that stuff. So, yeah, basically it's the same thing. Almost word for word, but not exactly, but close enough. So, that covers the story of Kevin and Hunter Feastreed. Feastreed. Festered. <laughs> Kevin and Hunter. Kevin and Hunter festered over here, yeah. So, uh, that covers their story. And thanks again for the uh, the 10-pound super chat. That was, uh, was really cool. Uh, thank you very much. So yeah, we we're gonna, uh, and then uh, just a small note here to the to the chat. I I do have people now tagging me and asking me for specific things and specific videos, and all I can say is I I think we'll probably get to them maybe eventually. But the FBI is moving faster than I can cover them. Uh, I don't, you know, this there's there's so many of them. We will get the, there's like why haven't you discussed this one yet? Why haven't you discussed this one? There's so many. There's so there's so many. There's so many stories. We're doing the best we can. We'll get to them eventually, maybe, <laughs> because the FBI is moving so fast. I think like I already have like three or four months worth of content, and I'm on to story number ten. You know, and it's you know, it's, it's yeah. You know. So I'm already like three and four months behind. Good news. We'll get there eventually. But until later, my friends, this has been On Civil Law. I hope you're well. Till later, cheers and goodbye.